so there's an old sawzall. I think I paid $15 or $20 from this or for this from a pawn shop years ago. It's the old style, just on off switch, no proportional control. It does have high and low. Still plenty good for most stuff, but if I had to choose one, it would be one with proportional control. And these days I'd buy a battery powered one instead of a corded one. But if you do any any kind of demo work, man, these are a must have. They'll get you in places where you know other tools just can't reach. That's a Bosch uh, demolition blade, I think. So there's where the crack goes out. Here's where I've cut the floor lengthwise. So this block here is coming out. So maybe, maybe tie now on the inside. Two thousand three. So here's my piping, four inch corrugated perforated pipe with the filter fabric wrapped around it. I've got some extra filter fabric in the garage that I'm going to use, but this is what I'm going to be making my French drain out of. Above my shop, basically, it meets this hillside and creates a super wet area right above the shop that's not a good thing. So I'm going to be digging a trench above the shop. I'm going to put two runs of this in that trench along with some gravel. I could not believe how expensive crushed rock is around here. It was shocking. Anyway, two runs of this lengthwise of the shop, then I'll be connecting that to some 4-inch PVC, non-preparated, 
that run across the driveway and over into the stream so it can you know move all that water away from the building that's the idea anyway uh, the reason for PVC across the driveway is because of the crush factor I guess uh, don't know how this would hold up with the potential heavy traffic on this driveway that's the idea anyway hopefully we will be putting that in soon Look at the fridges. I'm gonna look at the PVC. So these seem like a really fair price. This PEX tubing. There's 300 foot in this red roll, half inch, uh, 160 psi pressure rating. All the fittings are relatively you know, affordable. So a person could run an airline in their shop. With that stuff and uh, you know, save some money over probably other other methods crimping tool kind of pricey but all the ferrules for the crimp rings and about every fitting you could think of okay Where? Back on the back wall. There it is. There's a perforated up there. Perforated four inch, yeah. That's drain pipe. I was looking for the schedule 40. Standard PVC. Ten dollars. It's not too bad. Yes, 
So over time, these air connections, these quick disconnects, will just get completely wallowed out and loose, and they leak. This one's bad, and I'm changing it out right now. Especially with an air using an air hammer, you know, you see how war this is. One of the fittings I swapped out. But see how war that is, you know, compared to a new one. Yeah. Just between the concrete dust and the vibration, they're really hard on it. And this one's getting that way also. These are Merlin fittings. I would swap out this end with this Dixon, which is a nice fitting. Uh, has six balls inside, where the cheaper ones, in my experience, will have three, sometimes four. But I don't have the. Uh, well, I probably do, but I'm not digging for the fitting. So I'm just going to put you know, the same one, basically, that come off of it, but in much better shape on this end of this hose so I don't have to listen to it bleed air constantly. There, that should work better, I think. Yeah, I want to see her belly too. She's gonna have some babies. What are you doing, Peanut? Huh? Something she's interested in. <laughs> Hi. Hi, baby. Hi, baby. Come on. Come on. <laughs> I want to see a little She can stay in there if she wants. Your head sticking out of the block. <laughs> Put a squirrel condominium. Oh, look, she goes from the tree. Hmm. She's going to go take care of some squirrel business, I'm sure. So I decided to use one of my DeWalt grinders for concrete work. This is the worst one that I have. It's already had one set of brushes in it, and it's already been basically wore out once. So that concrete dust gets sucked into these things and goes right through them. Just chews them up, like any concrete tool, actually. Those diamond blades are awesome. I'm gonna make short work of that block and mortar. Already damaged my ladder, also, and I dropped a block on my cord and broke it, luckily right near the end. So this block works hard on everything. I'll have to say that it's it's tough work. So I'm waiting on a load of number 57 stone. I've got a dump truck driver headed out this way with a full load. He's going to be dumping it over here beside the do-all bandsaw. 
that's what I'll be using for my French drain and some I'll be using on my driveway simply because all it does is rain around here and it's a muddy mess and you know just getting my truck back where it's at over there uh, spinning in it and it's got brand new tires on it I need to get some stone here for my drain and for all my other stuff then I'll have to get some number nine stone just half inch and below and then some sand for working the concrete for some stuff that I'll have to do by hand around here That's what $500 worth of stone looks like around here. thought about having him just tailgate a load from here out but what I really want to do is get get a skid steer here spread out this gravel where I need it the most for now use this gravel for its main purpose which will be on my drainage and then whatever's left you know I'll do stuff like this with it I'm just getting the worst of the areas by hand I guess So I got a little carried away with the shovel and the wheelbarrow. I moved a lot more of this rock than I, by hand than I intended to. But once I get a skid steer here, I gotta have something for it to drive on. And it was just so muddy around here that you know, anything you brought here would just sink. So I just spread it out in the worst areas. This stuff actually shovels pretty easy. And it probably looks a lot worse of a job than I, what it actually is. So I just hit the hit the really bad areas. You can see how muddy it actually is. And that sort of dump truck just sank when he got off the edge of the driveway. So once I get that skid steer here, I'll spread the, I'll refine this quite a bit more. I'll also move my pile of rubble to somewhere else. And you know, all my steel there so I can use that as a staging area. All the stuff beside the garage has to go or be moved because that's where I'm going to be putting in my French drain that'll run the entire length of the upper side of the shop and then down and across the driveway out into the creek. Made quite a bit of progress, but still, still a, lot, uh, a lot of work to go.
this little truck uh, doesn't hold very much. So that is 1.13 tons or 2,260 pounds of river sand. About 30 bucks, so not really expensive. It's definitely much cheaper to go get that kind of stuff yourself. But that's about as much weight as I like to put in the back of my old pickup truck. Uh, it's more, <laughs> a truck like that's more designed for box springs, mattresses, couches, maybe your occasional frigid air. When you start stacking <clears throat> stone in the back of them, um, you know, it tails on them real quick. So hopefully in the not too distant future, uh, I'll get me a much heavier pickup truck, something that's something that's designed to carry a good load and maybe pull a big heavy trailer. Yeah, he likes that water. Doing dog stuff. Is belly good and wet? So you get your truck seat good and wet. Yeah. Well, I do too much good, but. Better than nothing. Alright guys, that's it this week. Glad to have that back wall out. Definitely took a lot longer than what I was expecting because of the way that it had to come apart. I couldn't just go top row down like I did on these other walls. But I was hoping to have this pad starting to come out. But, you know, it just didn't, never happens as fast as what I would like. I just talked to my dad. I'm going to be borrowing his skid steer. It's basically a bobcat. And I'm going to be using it to move this rubble that I generate from busting up this pad out back and also borrow in his uh, concrete mixer and I'm going to be pouring a small pad for my rotary phase converter that I have out back so it's simply because I don't have a lot of experience doing concrete work and I just want to you know, get my hands in it a little bit and uh, 
you know, get the better feel for it before I even consider uh, doing anything that's important. So that's kind of the plan. We'll see how it works out. Glad to have my rock and sand here. Hopefully this video reaches you guys well. Uh, we're doing pretty good out here. We're pretty isolated as you can as you can see. And uh, not a lot's changed here yet. So we'll see how it goes. Hopefully all y'all are doing well. So that's it. Thanks for watching guys. Thanks to viewers, patrons, subscribers, and of course anybody who's supported me on this project. It's much appreciated as you can imagine. And that's it. Thanks for watching guys. See you next time.